Good morning, everybody. This is Miss again. I'm here with your daily read. And we are going to start out with some oracle cards for an overall message. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody had a happy Mother's Day yesterday. Okay, daily message, please. What messages and guidance do you have for the collective? We got two cars that want to come out. So let's see what they are. We have She Who Guides. There's a new path, a renewal. Somebody's embarking on a new path of wisdom and clarity and resolution. So, yeah, we have somebody embarking on a new path, a new path that involves clarity going to bring clarity to a situation and she just knows that this is the right path that she needs to be on okay and today's featured deck is going to be Vera Sibylla just got this deck couple days ago and we are going to see what messages and guidance I have three Sibylla decks switch things up this is similar to Lenormand but each system like just like Kipper or Lenormand Sibylla they have their own they're like their own divination system in itself See what messages and guidance. two cards out right off the bat we have joy and the widower oh, wow money conversations and reunion wow okay somebody's definitely on a new path okay some for some people and this could be a separate message from the the original oracles but it seems like money is a central card okay we have some kind of joyous celebration okay a joyous celebration i feel like maybe um, celebrating over, like rejoicing over someone's life, okay? Um, the widower does mourn. It is a loss of some sort. Um, there may have been a loss of joy 
in regarding money. Wow. Okay. And this is somebody who is like really stuck in the past. Okay. Um, money being the central issue, though, it feels somebody may have turned their back on money and somebody's feeling sad about this. However, it starts out with joy. So somebody's remembering a joyous time in their life where they were abundant. But somebody's felt some sort of loss. And I feel this could be an emotional loss. It could be monetary as well. But what I'm feeling here is that there are conversations that are going to be occurring regarding a reunion or reconciliation of some sort. So I feel like this loss, this emotional loss was centered around money. They say Money can be the root of all evil. And in this case, it almost feels like it is. It feels like money and greed got the best of somebody. And somebody suffered some sort of loss emotionally. They lost their joy in their soul. And they are very stuck. They've been very stuck and reflecting on the past. I feel like somebody is reflecting on their past mistakes and what they have lost. Okay, there, and if you notice, he is facing towards the past. He's looking at that cross. Um, the widower is somebody who is stuck on their past, the joy that he used to experience. Money is a central issue. So I feel, again, I feel this was definitely a situation where money was the root of all evil, caused this loss. However, moving forward, there is a chance of having conversations with somebody. Maybe um, conversation is also negotiations. So you may be, whoever, whatever this is about, get somebody reaching out, getting in touch, and having heart-to-heart -heart conversations concerning reconciling, concerning trying to get things back on track. You know, here we have the um, She Who Guides. It's like somebody being on a new path here, Okay. And she knows what she has to do, she or he. Um, this shows females here. Somebody knows what they have to do. They they know what direction they were going. And it's resolution of a problem and seeing things very clearly now. So I think that somebody's eyes are being opened up to what went wrong. Somebody is realizing that, you know, money was the root money and greed made things fall apart so now that they see things with clarity they're embarking forward in a new path with a resolution with clarity and having conversations with somebody that could lead to a reconciliation okay this could be business this could be work family romance i feel more of a romantic partnership but however it resonates with you. This is not going to resonate with everybody. But we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and pull some Romance Angel cards. Because I'm being drawn to them. Okay, let's see what messages and guidance regarding romance and love. Okay, we have retreating and passion. So, yes, somebody definitely retreated from this connection. Okay, even though there was a retreat, there was still passion. The passion is still there. Okay, there's still passion. Passion. 
And when somebody retreated, the other person had regrets. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I just said that. Heartfelt or heart-to-heart -heart conversations about a reconciliation. So I feel like this is a beginning, a new beginning, a new chance. Somebody is on the road to reconciling a situation from the past because they see things with clarity now. They know where things went wrong and they're out to resolve those issues and basically start over with a clean slate. Okay, so this is the messages that I have for you today. I do thank you for watching. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, and I will see you in the next video. Love you all. Blessed be.